Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's put that there. I need those handy. That handy, and those are okay. Alrighty. Mm-hmm. So, I need some of this. Hey, CJ. Nice to see you. Okay. Hello, Pina. Nice to see you. Hi, Levi. It's going well. I got the uh, problem solved with my propane tanks. And so that is really good news because that means I don't blow up my motorhome. I mean my fifth wheel. It might be old enough to get blown up, but <laughs> I don't want to do it. Otubers, nice to see you. Welcome to the show. Who 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 are you? <laughs> Thank you, Levi. Hello, Lips. Nice to see you. Kami? How do you do? Nice to see you. Hi, Daryl. Nice to see you. Damani, welcome to the show. I haven't seen you in a bit. Uh, Jed, I started making these things in uh, 2010. And so, um, yeah, this was my first one. And then it got blown up in the game. And so, yeah. That's good, Damani. <laughs> nice to see that. Yeah, Braden, and uh, I'm I'm going to do a Dagwood this week. I'm just not sure when. Thank you, Levi, very much for the roses. And this is what's on the prize wheel. All right, Lil. Sure, I remember you. Welcome. Nice to see you. And so. Um, 3D printing is fine for the people that can afford a 3D printer. Um, most people cannot. And so, hi, uh, a fay, a th faith, <laughs> F-A-I-T-H-E, faith, doggone it. Hi, War, nice to see you. Yeah, thanks for all the likes you guys are putting up. That's cool. But anyway, this is on the gnome wheel gnome wheel the prize wheel the last prize was this for your donations of a dollar or more uh every dollar is equal to a spot on the uh, prize wheel to win this a10 that i made so there's only four of these in the world that are going to be out in the world there's five of them total but only four of them are going to be on the on the uh, the prize wheel Yeah, okay, Damani, yeah, that's good. I'm doing good. It's S-P-I, Spino? Is it Spino or Spino? I hope I got that right. Addy Aviation. Uh, yes, <laughs> it's uh, it's my go-to uh, thirst quencher. Because it goes down kind of bubbly. I'm doing good, Green. Um, this is on my uh, prize wheel to win. Anyone that puts a dollar donation on TikTok, uh, or if they go to my dollar sign paper, the page, paper engineer on Cash App, that works too. <laughs> well, um, I'm glad, Spino. Only two hours ago? What, Lil? Jeez. Well, Damani, it actually, um, I did the Pepsi challenge way back in the 60s when they first came out. And um, so I was kind of stuck on it way back then. It. He said it.
at Third Regiment. Nice to see you. Welcome to the show. Hi, Marita. WW1, nice to see you. Welcome to the show, you guys. Um, well, as it uh, as it turns out, um, I, I do have Star Wars stuff. And it's all made from recycled paper out of my kitchen. And so, um, very interesting hobby. These here, this A10, it's made mostly with paper. Uh, the little... Uh, missiles and stuff that I have on this, the weaponry, is, you know, paper clips that are cut down. Hi, Ivan. Nice to see ya. And so, anyway, yeah, I got some Star Wars stuff. Uh, but, you know, I got BSG also. Ta-da! But, yeah, it's, uh, you can make anything you want. <laughs> At Alice's Restaurant. Um, B-E-R, Bertle? Eh, well, Bertle, have you gone to my YouTube site, The Paper Engineer, and checked it out? Ducky? My favorite, what is, Ducky, yeah. My favorite project, Ducky, is this one right here. This SD Zeku Gundam. Um, I built my own gun for it, my own design, uh, Everything works on this. The legs work. The ankles, the heels have springs on them, so they work. The roller blades work. The armor uh, moves around. That You can open it up and see the AI pilot inside. Um, Sergey, just the uh, just working on the A-10s because uh, they're, they're on the prize wheel this week. And so, matter of fact, this one is the number two. It is, um, <clears throat> it is on the prize wheel. Anyone that puts a dollar donation in uh, gets their a spot uh, for this. And you can have more than a dollar if you want. Thank you, WW1. <laughs> Thank you, ah. Uh. <laughs> Show the Star Destroyer to 3rd Marine. Um, I can do that. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I am definitely working on General Grievous. But he is so hard right now. He's just sitting out there uh, by himself. Okay. The Star Destroyer. Here it comes, you guys. This, is, uh, this was my longest and most... Uh, intricate, I, I should say, build right here. Every modular block on this Star Destroyer, all the way around it, are different. There's over 11,390 plus pieces on this thing. And, uh, shoot, it took 536 hours. <laughs> Thank you all. It it was a it was a tough build, only because I had to make everything different uh, on it all the way around it, and so you're looking at those kind of things where you have to keep coming up with new builds every inch. And so, wow. Yeah, and it's all out of recycled paper. And that looks like a gummy ghost. I can't tell what it is. Thank you, Robert. Hi, Elaine. Nice to see you. <laughs> Lilia? Oh, that's an interesting name. Yes, uh, very much. Um, I really liked Star Wars. So, thank you, WW1. Thank you all. <laughs> thank you, Egg. Oh, Divine wants to see the Falcon? Okay, all right. Oh, you did, Marita? Oh, that's cool. What are you working on? 
Oh yes, this is all made out of recycled paper out of my kitchen. I cut all the pieces by hand and glue them together, fit them and make it look like it's supposed to look. Because if you have a picture of something, if you have a picture of something, you basically can add all the parts because you're making them out of paper. And so, well, WW1, practice makes perfect, my friend. If you go to my YouTube site, The Paper Engineer, and you practice this, you will get perfect at it. But please, start with the small things first. Thank you, Chase. And so, anyway, it and it's, it's a cheap hobby. Uh, you need Elmer's glue or PVA if you're in Europe. And you need some uh, acrylic paint. And so, um, that's one of those kind of things that it's that you can do it. Well, that's not working. Okay. And so, one at At Walker. And anybody that wants to get in on the uh, prize wheel for this, it takes 200 coins, which is a clapper's equivalent or TikTok's equivalent to a dollar. Jeez, I'm having a heck of a time. Hi, Yaka. Anyway, yeah, th this is uh, this is an interesting build in s in its own way. I uh, I found out uh, that the legs can't hold themselves up after uh, five or six years, and uh, ten years, <laughs> and so I had to build a stand to hold it up. Oh, uh, villain! I did just about everything. I did not have a career. I did many careers. Uh, all different kinds of stuff. But I, I have this, I guess it would be ADHD or something like that. Once I learned the job, I was done with it. I went to learn something else. Well, Marita, I've got a lot of ideas on uh, my YouTube channel, The Paper Engineer. And um, um, whatever you decide to do, Please make it a micro machine because that way, if you make a mistake, you can fix it fairly easy. It's a micro mistake. <clears throat> uh, they stay sturdy because they're. Um, I use uh, Elmer's glue and acrylic paint. All right. By using these two mediums, once you glue it together with the superstructure inside of the, ch the, there's a chassis. All right. That's your bottom piece. Your chassis then you put your superstructure inside that to the shape you want and then you rib it in and tighten it all up then you put on the skin which is cardstock all right all it is is cardstock all right but once you put the skin on then it stiffens it all up then you put the armor on top of the skin and that makes it really strong then you paint it no nope, i don't make paper guns I quit using weapons 25 years ago. Yeah, longer than that, actually. Probably 45 years ago was the last time I, um, you know, took a critter out of the woods. Um, my... Lalaya. Let's see. What is the difference between recycled and simple paper in doing this kind of models? Well, the thing is, um, you get I get all my building materials out of my house, and so I build them into um, into a toy. And so what I'm doing is I'm recycling the paper without having to throw it in the trash. And so and it, it's uh, it's just something that I do because. I didn't have the money uh, to buy model kits or anything like that. And so here it is. You can see this is the chassis. All right. Then the superstructure goes on that you can put the wheels and the tracks and everything on to in the turrets. So what you have is your superstructure. Then you start building onto it. <laughs> Hi, Lucas. Welcome. Yes, Andrew. I remember you. Andrew McCain. Yeah, how are you doing? Hope you're well. I have, um, I have this 
my, I built my father's uh, dozer, and it, it was an exact replica out of his manual. And I have an Abrams tank, and I also have the tie crawler. So, uh, no, I haven't made anything, Joe, from the newer Star Wars series because I'm too busy trying to complete stuff that I promised everybody here that I would make. Uh, the tank tracks. I have a tool that I use. I use this. And I put dental floss. Two lines on the right, two lines on the left. Then what I do is I take Q-tips. And I cut the Q-tips as wide as I want the tracks. And then I start tying them onto the dental floss. You have to have a left-hand knot on the left side and a right-hand knot on the right side. If you don't, the tracks will turn like this and you can't fix it. So, and I made this in a gray bar. Oh, motel. It's a tool. And so, when you use stuff like this to make things, I keep it so that the next time I have to build tank tracks, I have my tool to make them. Thank you, WW1. He has saved my life so many times in this lifetime, I can't even tell you. Oh, we're talking about fixing tank tracks. Okay, like like these. Oh, come on, don't fall over, sucker. Here, and who 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 said that? Uh, that is, um, um. Hi, Jeremy. Nice to see you. I've been doing this since 2010, fixing the tank tracks. That's what we were talking about, how you do it. You have to use something like this. And so, as you can see, recycled paper. That's all I build with. Uh, TTV? Well, that's a mouthful, but you're a stepbrother. <laughs> well, T, uh, I, I'm going to shorten it up to T. So, well, thank you, Green. <laughs> thank you very much. Krabbenberger? Welcome, Germany. Welcome to the phone show. <laughs> anyway, and uh, turrets. I build them as well. These are these are simple. The, I used an ink pen body, uh, you know, a clicker pen, to make the turrets on these. And they, as it worked out, these are the best turrets I've ever had. But I also built wheels for the tracks, and they're the best tracks I've ever done too. Um. That's as good as I can do. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh man. Yeah, T, that that is scary. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, Dreamer, I, I guess I am an I I guess so. <laughs> yeah. And I can I can make all kinds of stuff out of recycled paper. Woohoo! <laughs> and so, um, you know, like like this Zeku Gundam. Well, Lalaya, have a good night. Thank you very much for coming to the show. Thank you, Dreamer. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of fluff on TikTok. I try to have something creative and different. Thank you, Honey Bunny, for the roses. Hi, Isaac. Hi, Blah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, the favorite aircraft, I've only built two. Uh, the SR-71 Blackbird back there and this... Um, Oh, thank you for the galaxy, honey bunny. That's cool. 
That's five spots on the uh, prize wheel to win this A-10. And so, yeah, the SR-71 is really good. The ED-209, I know, I really want to make ED-209 too. I really do. Uh, but I, I got so many other builds going on, I just don't have time. <laughs> Thank you, Elaine. And uh, and here we go. This is for Elaine, you guys. <coughs> Cheers. Oh, yeah. And what season is it? It's candy corn season. This is our Paper Army merchandise. This is a really good bottle. And in a pinch, if you need to uh, slow somebody down... <laughs> it's stainless steel. That's all right, T. They're easy. They're they're easy to make. They are. Yeah. Um. I have. Um. Well, I made C three PO. And uh, I made uh, I made a dragonfly. Yep. And um, wait a minute. I made this red dog. Nice to see you. <laughs> oh, hey! Somebody said that. I got to see who said that. Oh, crazy friend. Well, crazy friend, have you been over to my YouTube site, the Paper Engineer? Well, Dale, um, uh, surprises upon surprises. I have one. Uh, the 1980s. Oh, I have Tri-Sabers, too. Uh, they're all gone now. I only made five of them. So they go quick on the uh, prize wheel. But, yeah, I made the 1980s version of the X-Men's uh, SR-71. Put you up there. That's a good place for you. And remember, whenever you're building a model, um, no matter what it is, paper or otherwise, you have to build your stands early. When you've got your chassis all opened up and you have to position your your plane or whatever it is that you're going to have on there, a starship or whatever, you have to position it how you want it to look when it's on display. And so you have to build the stands into the chassis. Because once you get the skin on like this, you're not going in there and fixing the chassis at that point. Oh, that's cool, Dreamer. Thank you, lame boy, very much. <laughs> All right, WW1. Take care, my friend. Nice to see you. Have a good uh, night's sleep if that's what's going on. Say my quote. Okay, I can say my quote. It doesn't matter who you are. Doesn't matter where you are. Doesn't matter what you are. Doesn't matter what color you are. Doesn't matter what religion you believe in. You're all human beings. All of us are. Doesn't matter. We need to start living as the human race. That's important. Hoovy? Um, yes, Hoovy. Um, how about uh, how about a Battlestar Galactica Cylon Raider? <laughs> and so it's just something that I believe in. And if the aliens show up in 2024, we need to be the human race. Thank you, Jonathan. <laughs> Thank you, Dale. Thank you, everyone in the paper army. We love you, too. Bye, T. Oh, I know, crazy friend. Um, and so I promised I'd do that one, too. So what I've got going on, these these are first. The prize wheel's got to... People have got to win four of these. And uh, once these four are done, then I'm going to do Daleks. And that's a Doctor Who build. 
And after the Daleks, then I have to do a DeLorean uh, build. After that, Warhammer. After that, I'm not sure. Because that's, that's, that could be, it, depending on how hard the Daleks are, that could be three months from now. Um, just, I've only made one fighter jet. That's this one, the A-10. This one is not done yet. These are. And so, other than that, uh, no, I have no fighter jets. And I don't have any time to make one either. Ah, Beastie, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Thank you, Willie, you too. I will, Health. Thank you very much. Any works in progress? Oh, yeah. I've got these. These A-10s, they're not done yet, but I'm working on it. I also have General Grievous in the process. He's not done, and he's... I got to hold off on him. He's driving me crazy. Well, the nice thing is, uh, uh, I know how to make curves. And uh, look at General Grievous, okay? He's got a lot of curved paperwork, all right? And that's just layers of junk mail that are shaped and formed properly and then glued together. And so, the Daleks, I think they're not going to be that hard. Jagger Master, welcome. Ecto-1, yeah, Ecto-1's a really would be an awesome build. Uh, I use uh, cardstock out of my kitchen. All right, stuff like this. It's a... Uh, you know, cheese, this this was um, rice, uh, minute rice, and cracker boxes, cereal boxes. And, of course, my Pepsi box, which I don't know where it went. Huh, that's, that's, anyway, yeah, just, uh, just box material out of my kitchen. <laughs> Thank you, Hoovy. <clears throat> Well, this one right here, as of this one right here, just for everyone in the world that buys uh, donations, uh, that gives me donations here, just these alone I've made. This is number 60. Okay? What I have as far as all these other builds, I'm pretty sure I got real close to 100 of them. <clears throat> uh, these, I build these... Um, to show people on my YouTube site and um, and anyone that um, <clears throat> excuse me uh, wait a second yeah I've probably got 150, 60 maybe 170 models total uh, those guys that say oh look out behind you I got two mirrors I'm looking in right here. I can see behind me. There's nothing there but my ribbons. Thank you, Annie. Uh, well, well, Canis, uh, Canes, Canes Plains. What would you pay me to build a 747? And we'll see if you're even close. Rick Grimes, nice to see you, Rick. Uh, did you see the Walking Dead baseball bat I made, Rick? They're self-made, Avatar. Self-made. I'll show you one right here. Here's my concept tank. Okay? This shows the paper pieces that I'm working with. So, yeah, I just, uh, I start with a picture. I look at the picture, then I decide what size I want to make it. How much would I sell one? Okay. A guy offered me $100,000 for this. I said, I'll take it. Now all we had to do is get the uh, attorneys involved in it and make that work out. And it might not, it might not work out. But uh, I, get, I get paid an awful lot for what I build. Wait, so, honey bunny, what? Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> well, I don't know, honey bunny. Who was that? But the Pepsi, the Pepsi box, <laughs> the Pepsi is behind you. And <laughs> no joke. Down to your left. Oh, jeez. Uh, down to my left. That's over here. Well, I don't know what I did with the Pepsi box. <laughs> but it's the way it goes. I got it in here somewhere. And, and it's a big piece. Oh, there it is. Found it. Oh, it's on the right. Ta-da. Building material. Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> That's a good movie. Hi, Casey. Nice to see you. Yeah, yeah, hundred k. And he wants to put it in his in his in the front foyer of his business. Uh, the guy's a a welding contractor down in South Africa. So this is probably going to be the first big piece that's sold. And so anyway, I think I'll get a new uh, fifth wheel if that happens. I made uh, yes, I made two boats. Somewhere in Tacoma, someplace, is my USS Arizona. It took over 4,400 pieces. And um, the other one is my Viking ship. Well, Sam, the nice thing is, until the money is actually in the bank, uh, the model doesn't go anywhere. I Okay, Green, you have to start as a chassis. All right, like these. This this center piece in here. That's the piece I start with. I get my shape looking at it like this. Then I start building everything onto it. Uh, yes. Uh, show the Viking ship. Yes, I'll show the Viking ship, and I'll put this back, and I'll also get out a Tie Fighter. Okay, Viking ship. Yeah, right. Yeah. Viking ship. <laughs> uh -huh. And the oars work. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, you can take the shields off in case they need to do a shield wall. And so, yeah. And ships are harder to make than they look. And then, of course, we have the TIE Bomber. This was a fun build. This took about uh, 300 hours to make this. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Welcome back, WW1. Nice to see you. Well, Hoover, I guess that's Hoovy. I started in 2010. And since nobody was doing this hobby, um, I made it. This is what I did. I got in the building because, Sam, uh, the whole thing was I wanted to play a Star Wars game. And they had a piece of paper for a Millennium Falcon. And so I made this out of a mac and cheese box and some acrylic paint and Elmer's glue. And so I put it down on the table. It took the guys an hour to quit playing with it long enough so we could start playing the game. Oh, Jam, I just get pictures on my uh, computer on my laptop. And... Uh, start doing it but since i started this in 2010 i've got a lot of years of building and if you want to learn this go to um <clears throat> go to uh the paper engineer on youtube oh geez i got all kinds of people max sorry azure sorry i, I didn't notice you guys were talking doggone it hey honey bunny would you go over to uh youtube and talk to everybody over there The last dropship. You know what? I probably could. Thank you, Brody. <laughs> Thank you, Harold. YouTube, you're on it, Max. <laughs> you're on YouTube. The chat bots get mad at me over on, on TikTok, so I call it YouTube over there. Uh, so, yeah, you're there. Hi, Juice. Nice to see you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all very much. <laughs> yeah, I know, Max. <laughs> it's one of them kind of weird things. <clears throat> um, I've been dropping this. They're, they're sturdy. Okay. 
they're awesome sturdy a better so i would say than plastic a hoovy anytime you put a donation on a dollar sign the paper engineer or if thank you sweetheart or you put in um you know roses or cowboy hats or corgis or whatever you feel comfortable with here thank you nikki there's one right there a rose that's half a penny you need 200 pennies uh, or 200 half pennies to make a dollar. When you get a dollar, then you get in on the, uh, the prize wheel to win one of these. There's only five of these total. Four of them will be in the general public. No, see, they're just uh, acrylic paint. Because if you soak paper in anything, it swells up and then you can't work it. Hi, Wix. Welcome to the show. But no. And then I just, I uh, just, I build. And you, uh-oh, it's candy corn season. Anyway, um, I'll show you how, how some of this built is done. Okay, because I am working on this A10 full size as well, you need your chassis. Your chassis is this center piece that is shaped like this. Okay, shaped like this. That's your chassis. Then you put your base piece of chassis on here. Now that you have a working chassis, then you have to frame it in with your cross ribbing. It was an X-Wing? Oh, that's fantastic, Juice. And so, you start putting in these pieces, which is your superstructure. Once you get your superstructure on, then you start sheeting it. All right? You put on your skin. Then your armor goes on top of that. East Africa, welcome, Smokey. And then you add your detail work, which is like your turbines and your tail section and, you know, your missiles and guns and stuff like that. Uh, yes, Sam, I have, but I don't have time to do it, my friend. Uh, I, need, I need Paper Army people to join my YouTube site and start learning how to do it here. Hi, Tori. Welcome to the show. Anyway, building this stuff is practice. All right, now, if you take, it took me 365 hours to make my Millennium Falcon. All right, if you were to build that, it would take you one hour a night for one year, and you would have yourself the most amazing Falcon ever. Oh, shoot, I can't do that, Tana. You know, I don't gamble. <laughs> Thank you very much, Max. Salute. Well, uh, Jacob, I started in 2010. And I learned it. I taught myself. Okay, you, you, you can't learn it from anybody but me. And so, Jacob, if you want to learn what I know, go to YouTube, the paper engineer. You can see what I know. Uh, this plane is an A-10. Uh, it'll look more like this when it's done. Yeah, Wix, I remember you. Oh, thank you for the roses. Brad Dozer. <laughs> well, don't worry about it, Brad. As long as they don't scare others, you're good. <laughs> thank you, Taco. Yay, Wix. <laughs> and so anyway, the, the burp gun actually works. 
Well, Max, I don't have time to do paper build requests. Uh, I've got so much going on right now doing just the stuff that I said I'd do. It's hard. Yeah, I know. Yes way, uh, 1940. <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, the turbine spin as well. It, it's one of those kind of cool things. I got bearings in here made out of uh, plastic. And so, yeah. And uh, Max, my next build after the A-10s are done is Daleks from Doctor Who. After the Daleks, I have got DeLorean. And uh, then I promised people a long time ago, uh, the next one is going to be Warhammer. And so if you all want me to build stuff, it's best if you go to YouTube, the paper engineer. Sign up over there, it's free. And uh, start learning how to do this and make the stuff I can't make. I don't have time. <laughs> Thank you, 1940. And uh, it's recycled paper out of my kitchen. All right, this is a cracker box it's, that I'm building the A-10 with. And remember, always remember, if you want to stand to display it, build it into the chassis early because you can't do it later. Thank you, Mix. Yeah, the DeLorean's been uh, been cool. I've been working on this one now for, uh, I don't know, few, quite a while. Um, you know, hours-wise, probably, I don't know, 60, 60 hours on that so far on the big A-10. And I got 20 hours each on these little A-10s. So, if anybody would like to get in on the prize wheel to win this, it takes a dollar. And I thank you for your support and for all your help, you guys. It's just fantastic. Thank you for sharing me with others, too. And uh, you got 15,000 likes. That's amazing. Yes. Yes. The Paper Engineer on YouTube. Absolutely. Go to, if, if you know how to navigate TikTok, go to my bio. I have a link tree. You open my link tree, it'll take you right to it. I know, Wix. <laughs> Thank you, Taco. That's okay, Wix. I'm sorry. Uh, you have to learn how to make these on your own then so that I can help you make one for yourself. That's, that's the only way around it. Geronimo. Oh, my God. Nice to see you, Geronimo. Welcome to the show. I, I got the A-10s uh, toys that I'm doing on the, gnome, uh, on the prize wheel. A good size to start, always make micro machines. Three, two, three, or four inches. All right? Because if you make mistakes on a micro machine, they're a micro mistake, easy to fix. I will, Max, and thank you very much. I like aviation too. Look, I made an A10 micro machine. Oh, that's fantastic, crazy. And here's the cool thing. If, if you get to that point where you, you don't, don't want to build on it, go build something else. When you get to the point where you don't want to build on something else, go back to the tank. <laughs> that's how it works. I've always got, geez, I don't know. I've always got six or seven builds in the works at the same time. Oh, Norwegian living in Finland? Well, isn't like the weather the same? And that's Castel? Yes. Oh, that's cool, aviation. Yeah, 3D printing is pretty neat. Well, thank you very much, Mon. That's M O N K E I S H B E A T. Monk. I'm going to have to call you Monk. Well, I tell you what, Castell, wood is fine. Ember, welcome, young lady. There's my granddaughter, Ember, you guys. Everybody say hi to Ember. <laughs> 
Oh, Jacob, probably if, if I sit down and start working on these, uh, we're looking at three or four hours a day. Because when I'm on the show, I talk too much. All right, crazy. Take care. Oh, that's okay, monk. No worries. Uh, yes, monk. I right now I am, but I make all kinds of paper models. All right, because what I teach people how to do is use uh, paper out of their kitchen, uh, recycled paper. All right, instead of throwing your cardstock away, you can build with it, and that's what I teach: cereal boxes and soda boxes, cracker boxes, instant rice. It all works really, really well. And so, anyway, and it, you may not want to um, try to win something on the prize wheel, all right? I also have merchandise on our merch page. Like this really cool bell that you can drink water out of. Cold water, hot water, doesn't matter. Um, yes, AV, I will be making another aircraft, but it's going to be a while. Right now, I'm looking at, with what I got to build, counting the Warhammer stuff, probably six months before I even can consider building another aircraft. And if I do, it's probably going to be a Sopwith Camel from World War I. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I do have an A-10. And this is on the prize wheel. Anyone that puts in a dollar's worth of TikTok money or goes to my cash app, a dollar sign, the paper engineer, and puts in a dollar... You get on the prize wheel to maybe win this. This is number 60. I've got 60 toys all around the world. And so, yeah. Oh, yeah, Monk. I like Warhammer, too. I do aviation, but they're really expensive. Uh, the offer I accepted on this Gundam was 100 k out of a, a businessman in South Africa. And so... Um, if his attorneys get in touch with me, uh, you're kind of looking at the prices of things. Uh, I'm going to build Honey Bunny a bee. I got to build her a bumblebee. You bet, Glock. All right, Wix. Yes, because um, you'll have something then. Oh, Cam wants in. Hi, Cupcake, what are you doing? Yeah. You, you want out of the rain? Yeah, that's a good thing. It's horrible weather out there. And so anyway, yeah, it, it's, uh, the merchandise is cool. I trademarked the Paper Army. This is our logo for the Paper Army. Trademarked and registered. So it's, uh, wow, dust. <laughs> They've got really good cups. And uh, we got stickers and all kinds of stuff. Ah, uh, Monk, I don't, I don't have a favorite faction. I like all of 40K. What? What do you want? What? Come up here. Come here, goofy cat. Come on. Good, good, good. Come on. You want up here? You better get up here. I'm busy talking to people, Goofy. I don't have time to mess with you. Huh? You're either going to get up here right now or I'm going to turn the chair around again. Come on. Good, good, good. Okay. You're, you're goofing up there, cat. Oh, there you are. Come on. Ding dong. <laughs> Cats are something else. Ten minutes of the show left? Oh, no. Uh, my favorite plane is the A-10. And so, uh, that's a. What? Oh. The cat wants up. And she wants to do it on her own time. I don't have her own time. <laughs> uh, thank you. And that is W I E W I Wee Wee? That's a that's a tiny human. Ow! Hey! Well, come on. Get up here. Don't be thinking about it. Just do it. Come on. 
Get, 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 come in. Yeah, I know. Come on. Get up here. Make the jump. <laughs> she won't make the jump. What is that? <laughs> I know. They're, cats are cool. <laughs> Hi, Sophia. Skulls, what's up? Uh, those awards? I went to three fairs. Uh, Lewis County. Uh, then Kitsap County and Lewis County again. And I won 20 ribbons at the fairs. I won them all. <laughs> I won all the ribbons. At Lewis County and uh, Kitsap County. Lewis County twice. You bet, Monk. No worries. Thank you, Wix. Yeah. Goofy cat. Where are you at? What are you doing? You don't want to eat candy corn. It's candy corn season, everybody. Woohoo! <laughs> My wife, she says, oh, that's horrible candy. Thank you, Glock. Yep, and I'm making a... Uh-oh. <laughs> it just fell. All right? It just crashed. Didn't hurt it a bit. Paper's tough. <laughs> Thank you, Skulls. See that, honey bunny? Skulls like candy corn, too. Some lucky person... I, I want to sell 30 tickets on the uh, prize wheel at a dollar a piece. I get 30 tickets. Somebody is going to win this Friday at noon. If I can't sell 30 tickets by Friday, then it'll be next Friday. Uh, yeah, I know aviation. I, I like candy corns. And they only come around once a year. That's fine with me. Um, Madman? Uh, this is. It's the only fighter plane I have. All right, Ember. Take care, granddaughter. It was nice speaking with you. Well, Wix, uh, first thing, I, I don't have time to make a cat out of paper. <laughs> I'm, I'm too busy building stuff. Yeah, the candy pumpkins are too. All right, Ember. Bye-bye, young lady. Have you ever had a SCP? Well, Monk, I don't know what that is. Uh, well, Castile, uh, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I suppose I could. I just don't know how to do it. Okay. Well, there's nobody on YouTube right now. So, goodbye, YouTube. I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs>